Well, Nebraska is the second largest producer of ethanol in the United States. Uh, we have 23 or 24 ethanol plants that are uh, currently operating. And so when corn is fermented to produce ethanol for fuel purposes, uh, about 40% of the nutritional value of that corn is returned to the farmer in the form of distiller's grains. So much of the research that's been going on in this department for the last few years is discovering how we can take the byproduct of the ethanol and make food from it. You know, one of the big concerns is that when we convert corn to ethanol is that we lose some of its food producing capability. Well, in reality, what remains after the ethanol is moved is only the the starch is the only part that actually is converted to ethanol. All the protein, the minerals, the vitamins, the fiber still re is retained in the distiller's grains. So we're learning how do you take that byproduct and maximize food production with what remains. We would ideally like to have our energy, our ethanol, and our food from the same source and to maximize both. For every bushel of corn that we ferment, uh, we get about 20 pounds of what's called distiller's grains. That is a high protein byproduct that remains after the starch is fermented to alcohol. So our research has been looking at how do we take that byproduct and utilize it most efficiently in dairy diets, beef cattle, swine, poultry, sheep diets. And what we found is that it really does have some unique properties that are different than the corn that it was derived from. So we are learning how to blend it with other ingredients to maximize its nutritional value for the animal. What we're seeing is that the ethanol byproducts are becoming fractionated. We're breaking them down to smaller individual streams, meaning that um, where before we might have had just one conglomerate of everything that was left over after alcohol was produced. Now we're making a high protein byproduct or a high fat byproduct or a high fiber byproduct. And so we're taking the raw components and breaking them out into individual product streams that can then be put into certain diets at higher concentrations because they have unique physical or nutritional properties. So that's, the, that's where the industry is headed, to try and maximize the value of each component of that uh, distiller's grains rather than just to feed it as one conglomerate of ingredients.